Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use parameters and formulas in KTRV5. So this is the second part of the tutorial where I'm going to show you some more applications uh, which is based on the formulas and parameters. So let's just uh, look forward. Alright, so now I'm going to create a hole uh, on this so preferably I'll go for this hole and uh, I'll, I'll just, uh, it's not really required, just go to the position sketch and uh, bring your point somewhere here make sure that your point lies coincident and what you're gonna do is really like you're gonna create two points you're gonna make it coincident as well as coincident to this particular point alright now select this arrow mark select 1 2 3 using control key and go here and press on the equidistant points so I'm, go I'm doing this because I need to <laughs> you know uh, at the end I, I'm gonna ch I'm gonna go to the very basic sketch and I'm gonna change something and this particular hole is gonna lie on the particular center itself so uh, it's like a you know chain reaction or something what you can say so uh, it, it simply explains the uh, application of this particular uh, tool here so let me just go ahead and uh, you can increase the diameter if you want and the depth is going to be uh, say a 10 so let me just uh, this depth this pad definition is 20 and this definition is 10 so I'm gonna give the formula for all now so go to uh, formulas and go for pad and uh, rename it as pad right apply and go for hole and rename it as hole okay and apply add a formula for this hole is the whole depth is half of the pad if I'm not wrong yeah yeah half of the pad divided by 2 right okay now let's just uh, go ahead and click OK and now if you really uh, you know if you really increase the whole uh, say a 30 preview then the depth of the hole is going to be 15 you can see the depth is 15 and it cannot be changed because it's, it's been driven by the formula so now I'm gonna show you something by changing something in the very basic sketch so let's just go ahead let me show you something here that this hole lies in the center alright so before doing that I'll just do a circular pattern for this um, uh, select the hole and just go for the transformation circular pattern and the complete crown reference element uh, name uh, maybe, uh, 6 or something and now I'm gonna go to uh, say this particular basic sketch here and I'm gonna change something over here say 150 diameter and I'll just go out of the sketch and you can really see that the uh, if I change the you know diameter of this to maybe some even 300 you can still see that the hole lies in the center and uh, if I increase the pad of this maybe 60 um, you can still see if if I just you know make the wireframe more you can see that the hole is exactly uh, you know the half of it half of the pad so this is the use of uh, the formulas and it's really helpful uh, in the designs so uh, you know this is the basic concept and you can you know correlate almost everything you have uh, every parameters you have in this particular uh, drawing or any drawing you're working on so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and if you have any doubts any clarifications please feel free to comment on my video and please feel free to contact me 
and you can uh, write to me anytime at catia.pro.user catia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting, that, getting back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching guys.